Do you identify as a human being or maybe an animal, a mythological creature? Whatever it is, this is what's known as otherkin. If you identify as something other than human. And we're going to talk about that today because there's a lot of problems associated with this and many people may even consider it to be a mental disorder. So we're going to talk about this today, so enjoy the video. Other kin are people who identify as non-human. They often feel like they are animals, angels, demons, aliens, and other mythological creatures. They may physically change their body to match how they feel on the inside, behaving and acting like the creature they identify as. Other kin is a relatively small community, and many feel isolated and unable to express how they feel. However, there may be a greater mental aspect to this that many are missing. Some people like to compare other kin to transgender. The only comparison that can be made is that both identify as something they were not born as and transition and alter their body and personality to fit how they identify. Transgender is transitioning from one sex to the other, but remaining human. Other kin is identifying as outside the human realm and changing oneself to be this non-human entity. Many people also compare this mental struggle of someone who identifies as other kin to someone who is transgender. This comparison can be made to a degree since they both can have a troubled past, the inability to accept themselves, and the need for escapism. But they are very different. When it comes to other kin, some may describe it as a mental illness. The reason should be quite obvious for most people, that you cannot be something you're not. A human can never be anything but a human. No amount of body modification will achieve this. If someone identifies as a non-human, thinking they can change into the entity they identify as, they will be disappointed since there is no way to change who they are to that degree. People who identify as something other than human, such as an animal or other mythological creature, this is what's known as otherkin. And there are plenty of people who may feel the need to escape from reality, that they don't want to be human, they don't want their human life, so they try to be something else. And there are some problems with this as well for people who do try to escape and they may feel as though they don't fit in, so they create a reality in their mind that isn't actually all there. It's not an actual reality. It's in a reality for them to escape to from the physical world that they live in because they cannot admit what is going on physically in their world. They don't want to deal with the problems that they have as a human being and they think it would be easier to be something else. So they go and live into this fantasy world. Now there are a lot of problems with this as well because there are many people who may use this as a form of escapism, to escape from the world and the reality that is before them. And for everyone who is like that, then that is what I would classify into the mental disorder aspect, because you're looking to escape from reality. You're looking to escape from what is going on. But there are other factors involved with this as well. Hatred of oneself, the need for escape, and denial are all major aspects of various mental disorders and those who are other kin may fit this criteria and are needing to escape their daily life and seem unique because of what happened to them in the past. This is where the mental disorder aspect comes into play since those who escape reality will never be happy with themselves no matter what they do. Anyone who is other kin who thinks of themselves as anything but human is in a state of denial where they cannot accept the life they have lived thus far. They may feel that human life is so bad that they needed to escape from it to be something else. If that is the case, then seeking help to get to the root of the issues and why they are needing to escape is ideal and will help the person accept who they really are. However, since we are discussing transgender individuals earlier, this is also similar since the transgender person has to realize they are transitioning not for the reason of escaping and denying their birth sex, usually due to past traumatic events. Rather, they are changing because they truly are and identify as the gender they are transitioning to. But they should still accept the reality that no amount of surgeries or hormones will truly make them a cisgender person. Much like other kin, 
There is no way to change into a non-human, and the process would be theoretically impossible. Those who accept that they are human and can never change it tend to be better off since they may not struggle as much as those who reject the person they are and need to escape from human life. The other thing to mention is the spiritual aspects of otherkin, and this one tends to make a bit more sense, since every living thing is connected via the collective unconscious, and if we've ever lived in a past life as an animal, then it's possible the human mind is picking up on how we once lived in the past and tapping into the collective unconscious with various animal spirits. However, we can never become those animals in our current life since we are here as humans. We live a human life. We are born and die a human, and nothing can change this. Coming to this realization first, stepping out of denial and the need to escape, is the ideal scenario for those who are experiencing the need to be a non-human. Let me know how this works for you. Have a great day. So other kin can be classified as a mental disorder, absolutely, if the person is trying to escape. It could also be someone who was connecting a bit deeper spiritually with maybe a past life that they were an animal, or the collective unconscious where they are connected to all of the spirits of everyone and everything that exists, since we're all united, every, li every living creature is united, doesn't matter if it's human or animal, Every living creature is united by this collective unconscious. So when we're able to tap into that and we feel a strong connection to everything and everyone, then that is a very sure sign that we are very connected to the world around us. And some people, they may feel as though they are a different creature as a result or may have had a past life as such. I'm really curious to know what your thoughts are on this. If you identify as something other than a human, if you go about your life as a human and don't identify it as it, or if you are actually changing your physical body in a way that is more incongruent with how you feel as though you identify. Ultimately, you have every right to do whatever you want to do. No one has the right to tell you that you can't do that. The only thing that I say is if you've been to any sort of therapist, if you've addressed a lot of these deep-rooted issues you may have and there's, you've addressed and covered everything you possibly could, but it's still there, then by all means, you can do whatever you want to do with it. That's your right to do that. So let me know what your thoughts are on this. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will catch you later. Take care now. Bye-bye.